This is the first and last time, Yagami-san. I know. We just have to figure out what Hashiki and Shona were talking about. The hostess they were with should know. Okay, I'll track her down somehow. I'll call you once I do. Hello? Hoshinokun? Sarusan made it in, thanks to you. Got a job at the Queen Rouge and everything. Great. I knew her beauty was nothing to sneeze at. Thanks for taking her around, Yagami-san. By the way, what's the plan for tonight? We wait for Sarusan to call us. <sighs> Not much to do, but wait till then. I'm gonna go kill time around town. Be careful out there. Yeah, we will do. Know-it-all, asshole! You again? I thought you'd have given up by now. After what you did to me and the Kahin? Not once, but twice? I'm never backing down! Sorry, but You reap what you sow. Huh? The hell are you talking about? Quit showing off with your fancy words and shit! Seriously? Sakakiba! Kazai! I'm hungry! This man is Kaito Sakakiba, one of the Kahin Four! Him? You let him in? Hey, Kasai! You're buying me food if I take this guy down, yeah? Hey, you better believe it! Steak, ramen, pizza, whatever you want, big guy! I hope you're not lying! <laughs> that mean I get dessert too? Sure, sure! Cake, pudding, anything! Does, uh, does curry count as dessert? Literally anything you want. As much of it as you want. Just beat his ass. Come on, you can't just let him talk you into... Food! Jeez, this guy's built like a ton of bricks. <laughs> you see that? There's no getting through his flabby exterior. Now go, Sakakiba. Smash this bitch. Uh -huh. mm. What are you spacing out for? Get him! I'm hungry. What? <laughs> it's dinner time. But... <sighs> Looks like your buddy abandoned you. Wait, that would be my line. Come on, man.
Kuroiwa. I've been waiting for you. Why don't we step inside for a little chat? Another voluntary interrogation? Thought I told you to bring a warrant next time. The hell was that? <sighs> Let's be civilized here, Yagami-san. Fine. Office is pretty dirty, though. So, to what do I owe the honor? There's a leak in the prosecutor's office. Pretty sure it's a woman. Got her hands on some pretty important case files. The ones about the vice director of the ADDC getting beaten to death in the street. You have any ideas? Sorry, not a clue. What kind of lowlife would sell police secrets? Shh. Scum. Right, Ayabe? Totally. The worst. <laughs> Nobody takes us seriously around here. That all you came to ask? I'm sure you guys are just as busy as I am. So, if you're finished, I'm gonna have to ask you to... Right. Izumita wants to talk to you tomorrow. About Shintani's murder. You'll be there. In cuffs if need be. Why am I being treated like a suspect? <laughs> Sorry, that's classified. Just drop by the public prosecutor's office. If you're innocent, you have nothing to worry about. You don't want to deal with getting arrested. Trust me. Better to handle this before it gets to that point. Think of it like that. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. Besides, you and Izumina go way back. But how am I going to defend myself if I don't know why he suspects me? Let me guess. I'll find out when I get there. More or less. Who knows what angle Izumita will take. Have it your way. I'll come in and clear the air and we'll be done with this. I'll be in touch tomorrow. <sighs> Asshole's been dragging me everywhere. I can't do a damn thing on my own. I can tell. Looks rough. Hello, Yagami-san? Hey, any luck? Yes. I made friends with a girl who served Hoshki six months ago. We're gonna bounce and go to tender in a few. Perfect. Wait, did you just say bounce? Sorry, son. Took you long enough. This is Mika-san. Hey, I'm Yagami. Mind if I join you? Be my guest. This is the man you served six months ago? You're certain? Yeah, that's him. We already discussed Hoshki and Shono. Mika-san was at their table, without a doubt. It's Shona-san, right? Yeah. What were they like? 
I guess nothing stood out about them more than any other pair of businessman types. Hashki-san complained about his boss, while Shona-san just nodded and smiled. What was Hashki saying? He was going on and on about this Kido-san guy. Have you heard about that new dementia drug, 89? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of familiar. Not surprised. They used to talk about it on TV a bunch. Anyway, apparently Kido-san's kind of a big shot guy on the 89 research team. And Hashki and Shono were talking shit about him? Yeah. Sounds like Kido-san was getting wined and dined by all sorts of people who wanted to profit off 89. From what I heard, not all those deals were above board. Secret deals, huh? Is Kido-san working with the Yakuza? Hashki-san didn't give specifics, but he did say 89 could buy a lot of influence. And about the cut he'd be getting later. He seemed like a really shady guy, actually. Interesting. How was Shono acting that night at the club? Well, <laughs> he spent most of the night staring at my chest. Hashki-san kept going on about Kido-san all the same, though. Maintain eye contact, Yagami-san. Shono-san seemed more interested in being a creep than indulging him, though. You don't think he was listening to Hashki-san, then? Nope. Didn't seem like it. <laughs> Disgruntled boss on one side, closet perv on the other. But then, out of the blue, Hashki-san said this. There's something fishy going on with 89, I just know it. Did he have any idea what it was? <sighs> what did he say again? Uh, something about fabrication or falsification? Data fabrication? Falsifying the effects of the drug? Yeah, that was it. He kept going on about how AD9 was too good to be true. And how weird it is that it just came out of nowhere. So he brought Shono to the club to try and figure out if AD9 was real. Right. What did Shono say? Just, there's nothing fishy about it. But then Hashki-san yelled back, I don't believe that for a second. It was kind of awkward seeing how desperate he was. Makes sense he'd be desperate, though. Why? He promised this guy Kajihira he'd shut down the ADDC. Hmm. I gotta say, you remember a lot for a conversation that happened six months ago. Can you blame me? The poor man got beaten to death right afterward. I replay this a lot. Right. Sorry. And at that point, I already knew about 89. See. My grandma has pretty bad Alzheimer's, so I was hoping they'd release it to the public soon. I'm sure that made the conversation stick out to you. Yeah, when I heard Kita-san was just another slime ball, I don't know, kind of broke my heart. <sighs> Tragic. Did you ever hear Hashki mention a Kajihira? Kajihira? It's a big construction company based out of Kansai. Basically, Hashki was working for this Kajihira, trying to shut down the ADDC. Wait, I thought Hashki-san was super important, like vice director or something. He was. Kajihira's money was too much for him to refuse, though. Hmm. Either way, I, I don't remember hearing them talk about a Kajihira. Thanks for this, Mika-chan. You must be exhausted. That's all of it? Yeah, you helped us more than you know. Be safe on your way back. Thank you. Uh, what time's your shift start tomorrow, Saori-san? Sorry. I'm not coming back tomorrow. Huh? It was a one-night thing. I got to see a side of myself I didn't know I had, though. Man, this stinks. You're so pretty, Saori-san, and I was pumped to learn more from you. I don't think I have much left to teach. I might be able to help you, though, as a friend. You're a lawyer? Let me know if you ever get into trouble. Wow, I've never been friends with a lawyer before. This is, like, super cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye now! That was amazing, Saori-san. 
You really pulled through for us. It's fine. Come on, I'll walk you back to the office. I want to review what we learned with Hoshino-kun and the others. Sure. Welcome back. You're so beautiful, Sarasan. Like a puppy. You should dress like that all the time, Saurikun. Yeah, good luck finding clients. I'm changing. There's a good chance Hashki's murder was premeditated, just like Chairman Kajihira suspected. That's the conclusion you and Saurikun reached? Yeah. Hashki thought something was up with 89, doubted the authenticity of the research, seemed convinced they had fabricated data. He was desperately searching for proof before he died. But was there anything actually wrong with it? I tried analyzing the paper myself to find out, but it's like it was written in a different language. I'm searching for someone more knowledgeable as we speak, but nobody seems to suspect any foul play, not even online. Yet Hashki was still searching for issues, and if he had managed to find one... The ADDC would be long gone by now. Then they murdered Hashki to keep the secret safe? Don't be ridiculous. Who would kill a man just to protect a research paper? It might not be as unlikely as you think. The ADDC has been bringing in billions of government yen ever since they published that paper. With that much cash involved, bumping someone off wouldn't be out of the question. The question is, who killed Hashki? A professional assassin, if I had to guess. The man in the black raincoat. If he was an assassin, that would mean someone hired him. Yeah. Someone who wanted to protect 89 and the ADDC. But who? Can't begin to imagine. But apparently Kido was out hyping up 89, raking in tons of dirty money in the process. Guy might even be involved with the Yakuza. You're really suspicious of him, Yagami-san. Well, if it looks like a rat... Maybe Shintani got too close to the truth, and Kido offed him for it. The thought has crossed my mind. Don't think we can say that for sure without looking more into Kido, though. But judging from our last visit, that won't be as easy as you make it sound. He's practically a celebrity at this point. Well, maybe if we can't get him to talk, the prosecutor's office can. Huh? What do you mean? I've got a meeting with Izumita tomorrow. They're calling me in. Isn't that the prosecutor who was trying to get you arrested? He can try all he wants. That's what this meeting's about. No chance in hell he agrees to help us, then. All depends on how this little chat goes. If I can convince him I'm innocent, I'll clear my name and put the squeeze on Keto all in one fell swoop. What are you planning, Yagami-san? Yo, everything's really falling into place. Guess it's good we let Sauri-san handle the cabaret, huh?
Yo. Got a message for you from Kuroiwa. Says to drop by the Tokyo Public Prosecutor's Office. Izumita's waiting for you. Why'd you have to come here to tell me that? Would have been easier to talk on the phone. I got a bad feeling about all this. Huh? Feels like I'm never gonna see you again if you get yourself locked up now. Come on, don't be like that. Even if I do get arrested, I won't say a word about your little side job. That's what you're worried about, right? Yep. I might have to send someone to bump you off in prison if you rat me out. <laughs> like you could pull that off. Aren't you busy dusting off Kuroiwa's boots? I'm laying low, that's all. Speaking of, I have a question for you now that you're off your leash. Why do they think I killed Jintani? They have to have a reason, right? You've got to know. Well, funny enough, I don't. Kuroiwa won't share a shred of info with anyone but his closest partners. Not sure why. Gotcha. Now, get over to the prosecutor's office. Sorry, but you gotta cover your own cab fare. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I know. I've been waiting for you, Yagami-san. Rolling out the red carpet, huh? Izumita was hoping you'd lower your guard if I was the first person you saw here. <laughs> the man never changes. He loves his mind games. Yagami-kun, how did they convince you to come? I heard your pal Izumita wants to chat. And, depending on what I say, he may or may not try to arrest me. Hmm. I'm not sure it'll be quite like that. Huh? Then what's it gonna be? Well, you're about to get thrown to the wolves. Hey, Mafuyu. Good luck. Excuse me. I've brought Yagami-san. Much appreciated. Huh. Even the chief prosecutor's in on this. Please, come in. So these are the wolves. A room full of prosecutors, huh? Yagami-sensei. I believe Kuroiwa-san already told you this. But we want to talk to you about Shintani-sensei's murder. However, this is not a courtroom. And we're not strangers. Or wolves. Just try to relax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, relax, right. I'm not telling you what you want to hear, though. You want me to say I killed Chintani, right? Sorry, not happening. <laughs> the burden of proof's on you, anyway. So why don't we start there? Why do you think I did it? Yagami-sensei. Where were you on the night of Shintani-sensei's murder? Answer my question with another question? <laughs> That's not very nice. Do you have an alibi for that evening? You heard of a company called KJ Art? The place is a front for some Kansai Yakuza, the Kyore clan. On the night of the crime, I was near there with their captain, Shioya. He'll back my story up, I'm sure. And care to explain why Shintani-sensei's corpse was found in your office? I was hoping you could tell me. Maybe the real killer could answer that for you. Naturally. That's why I called you here. Mind if I interject? Go right ahead, Morita-san. Yagami-san, you stole a look at Shintani-sensei's call history before the police arrived, yes? Not long before his death, he placed a call to the Advanced Drug Development Center. Knowing that, you barged into the center and interrogated both Kido-san and Shono-san. Why would you do such a thing? I wanted to figure out what made Shintani a target, who wanted him dead. Is that not the police's job? I couldn't leave it to them, or the prosecution. After all, you guys have a bad habit of going after the wrong guy. 
Kind of like right now. I see. So you mean to imply someone else killed Shintani-sensei? Do you have anything that could prove that claim? That's the only reason I'm here. Oh, how responsible of you. The prosecution's proven unreliable after all. I've been working my ass off because of you guys. <laughs> now, can we begin? Yes, you have the floor, Yagami. Before we get to Shintani's murder, there are a few things I need to cover. One year ago, the ADDC published a research paper on a new drug they were developing called 89. This drug has gained global recognition as the thing that may finally cure Alzheimer's disease. What hasn't gained recognition is the fact that someone from the ADDC was murdered six months ago. An ADDC member murdered? Who? The Vice Director, Toru Hashiki. Hashiki was seen arguing with a strange man in Kamurocho before being found lying beaten in the street. He died in the hospital three weeks later. The culprit is still at large. Did you know of this case? It's the first I've heard of it. Understandable. It didn't make many headlines. Incidentally, this Hashiki guy had a pretty big secret. Uh-huh. Turns out he was working for the Kajihira Group, a massive construction company based out of Kansai. Kajihira was planning to redevelop the land the ADDC sits on. He'd already settled it with the Minister of Health, had the Kyore clan muscle in on the turf too. But the plan fell apart when 89 was announced. Kajihira ended up taking a pretty big hit. To the tune of 100 billion yen. What? That's when Hashiki came in swearing to Kajihira that he'd scuttle 89, no matter what it took. <sighs> Just before he was beaten half to death, Hashiki went out with another member of the ADDC, someone deeply involved in the development of 89, someone he thought he could manipulate. I'm sure you recognize this man, Izumira-san. Three years ago, he testified about the murder that had taken place at the ADDC. He claimed he had seen the victim, a patient by the name of Waku, still alive. I remember him. You're referring to Dr. Shono? Mm-hmm. He's also the head of the 89 research team. Hashiki was grilling Shono, convinced that there was something fishy going on with 89. Like what? He thought they had fabricated data and falsified the effects of the drug. After all, it wasn't until rumors of closing the ADDC started swirling that Director Kido suddenly announced 89. Hashiki was convinced it was all too convenient to be coincidence. But that doubt didn't sit well with those who stood to rake in massive profits off 89's development. Are you implying Hashiki's murder was premeditated? <laughs> Sounds like we're finally on the same page, Izumita-san. I had the exact same thought. <sighs> Taking all this into account, doesn't it seem like there really is something fishy about 89? Hmm. But let's get back to Shintani. Just before he was murdered, he called the ADDC and tried to get in touch with a very specific someone. Maybe that phone call provoked whoever is trying to hide the truth about 89. Shintani was an obstacle, just like Hashiki. He had to be removed. What I'm saying is, there's a chance anyone who gets too close to learning the true nature of 89 is being murdered. And if you haven't investigated down that path, then one thing's pretty clear. You have a lot more work to do before you can arrest me, wouldn't you say? Answer me, Izumita! If you still want to bring me in, let's see some proof. All these prosecutors, and nobody's got any proof. Hmm. That's quite a theory, Yagami-san. Truly fascinating. There were details in there even we weren't aware of. You've clearly done your homework. I'd be glad to hand over my findings if it'll help. 
After all, 89's practically a household name at this point. Lifting the lid on it might be too much for me to handle all on my own. And besides, I think I'd rather work with you than Izumita here. You need to lose the attitude, Yagami. Sorry, I need to take this. Yes, hello? Is that so? Yes, you've done excellent work. Thank you. Just so you're aware, the prosecution has made a coordinated effort with law enforcement. We've already submitted a request for the court to issue a warrant. I'm sorry for the call, but that was the verification of our request, you see. You're still gonna arrest me after all this, huh? Fortunately, you're not the one under arrest. What? I wouldn't celebrate. We're not done with you just yet. It's in the interest of closing the case. Listen here, Yagami. You know who Shintani's killer was? It's your old friend, Ayabe. What? Striations on the recovered bullet are a perfect match to his firearm. There's no doubt. He's the one. Like it or not, he's going down. <laughs>